Hey Hodies, welcome to my channel. My name is Hope Mess Tom and thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today we're gonna be doing a let's play with makeup and talking a little bit about Thanksgiving and maybe I can provide to you a Thanksgiving survival guide. This is American Thanksgiving. I know not all of you are in America, but maybe this will give you some insight on what it's like to go to an American Thanksgiving gathering. If you are new to my channel, my channel is often about loving my makeup collection as it currently is, being critical of new makeup releases, and being very considerate when I decide to bring something into my makeup collection. So if that sounds good to you, I would love to have you subscribe. Make sure you like this video before you leave it. And I'm also on patreon.com if you'd like to support me there. I'm so happy to say that today's video is in partnership with Merit. So I will be focusing mostly on Merit products today as I'm applying to my face. They were kind enough to send me two products to try out. You may have noticed that everyone in their mother is running a Black Friday sale and they might have started on November 1st, but Merit is also doing a Black Friday sale. It starts on today. <laughs> today, November 21st, 20% off site-wide. And this is Merit's only sale of the year. Every day there's going to be like a door buster deal on one of their kits because their kits are excluded from that 20% off. And the sale will run through Monday, November 28th. Also, Merit's been kind enough to provide me with a referral link, which will benefit me monetarily if you should use it. It's in my description box at the very top down below. So if you were wanting to shop and support my channel, you can use that link to do so. But here's what I'm also going to tell you. If you weren't planning to buy anything from Merit, you didn't, you weren't interested in any of their products, but you like a sale, this is not the, t you don't need to buy anything from Merit. If you are on a no buy, or a low buy, or it's just like not in your budget, even with the discount, there is no need for you to run to the sale. It is just simply something that is happening. And you know, not everything is worth it. And perhaps if you were interested in something, you can get it at another time, whenever it's more feasible financially for you, because sales aren't everything. And I'm not trying to pressure you into using my link or buying anything during the sale today. I am simply a messenger. Let's jump into the makeup and let's talk a little bit about Thanksgiving. If you've never purchased from Merit before in your first purchase from their website, not from Sephora, not from any other retailer that might carry Merit from their website, they send you this bag. Now, oh, maybe I'll take this back to Thanksgiving. I actually wasn't really thinking about it, but I, I might. I, when I first got this bag, I'm like, this is so pretty. I don't know what I'll use it for. And I also think that Merit's delusion towards me is that they think that I should be able to fit my entire makeup collection in here, but I have an Ikea drawer full of products <laughs> that say otherwise. <laughs> but if you are a minimalist or if you're someone who doesn't wear a lot of makeup, sure. I'm sure. But I actually have carried this as a purse quite a few times. In the summertime, I like will carry it like underneath my arm. I'll carry it underneath my arm. I also carry it just like a little bit of a, a little dog. I'll just kind of like cradle it. You know, you make it fashion. You do whatever you want to. Also, you don't have to carry it as a handbag. I also, when I'm not using it as a handbag, I do keep it on a shelf kind of displayed because it's, it's very, very cute and aesthetic. American Thanksgiving. What a time, what a fun time. Now, I love my family, but you know, sometimes you get overwhelmed by being around your entire family in one scenario. And I find that I do. However, I have found some ways to survive it. First and foremost, if there's a family friend that gets invited to these things and they're like a little more humorous than your family, because I find, here's the thing, and this is, I don't think this is my family specific, but like your nuclear family, like they're bored of you because they like might know a little bit more about you. Try finding a tertiary character or are you the tertiary character? I kind of find that I'm the tertiary character in my family. My family, they're people who camp. <laughs> I am not people who camp. That's not what I'm about, TBQH. It's not what I wanna be about. They go camping a lot all together, the whole family. And that's just not, it's just not my speed. I don't live for it. I don't live, laugh, love it. So I will come in on like the 4th of July and Thanksgiving and they're like, what are you doing? So I think what you need to do is start coming up with lies. Lie to them. Lie to your family on Thanksgiving. Not to make yourself more interesting, but to make yourself more boring, right? Because if you are too interesting, then they want to talk to you more. And you know, I love being interesting, but trying to explain YouTube to people is tough, tough, especially because like, I'm not like a spring chicken. It's not like I'm a teenager getting into the YouTube thing. It's like I'm a full grown adult getting into the YouTube situation right now. And so they're not really even that impressed by it. They're just like, 
you're wasting your time or that's the vibe that I get off of them like it's like you're wasting your time so it's just like I tell them about my corporate office job and then I'm they leave me alone and I say office job I work from home but it's a corporate office job and that way it's just like you're like oh I work in an office and then like people have less questions about that now that might be a tactic for me moving forward if YouTube should become more and more part of what I do for a living but until that point I'm just gonna rely on the office job to be like oh I just work I work in an office it's quite simple quite simple also today's glam is gonna be Thanksgiving appropriate so not only will I be using merit products but I'm also making something that's like fresh and light and gonna be nice to wear the Thanksgiving Giving. Let's get into a Merit product while we're here. This one is new to me. Let me pull it, hold on, let me pull it out of the bag. It's the Great Skin Serum and it's a bifacial, facial, bifacial, bi... It's separated because of oils, so it looks like this, but you just shake it up. And it says to pump two to three. I have been pumping two into my hands. Now, they say that this is skincare. And you know, it might have skincare benefits to it, but I have been finding myself liking it as a primer, which really works out for me because of the next Merit product that we'll be using. I've been liking it a lot and I kind of <laughs> kind of am surprised by that. I'm not sure if I were using it exclusively as skincare that I would care that much. And also I, I just got this product not that long ago. So I wouldn't be able to really tell you the skincare benefits or if I have been able to see any skincare long-term benefits from using it. So I wouldn't do that. But I will say it comes in a very pleasing glass bottle, which I love. It's gorgeous. The, the pump, the first pump of every pump, it's intense. <laughs> it's intense. You gotta get ready you to be like ready to catch it all. It comes out fast. The second pump does not come out as fast. There's something about that first pump that everything goes. But it does make your skin look really juicy and it prepares it really well for the Merit Perfecting Complexion Stick. And I do feel like it, it I do think it just like provides a little plumping, a little bit of plumping. I'm not saying like it's gonna defy a, like it's not gonna look like Botox, but it just, you know, it feels a little supple. It feels, it feels supple, it feels nice, it feels good. It reminds me some of some other like oil-based primers that I really, really enjoy. I, I don't know what the cost of this is. I'll pop it up here, but I it might be less expensive than the others, the other oil a primer that I've been using. I have only been using this as a primer, so I can only speak to it as that, and it does seem to make my, it makes, I just I mean, look at, my, look at my skin. Honestly, I probably, if I was doing a new makeup day, I could see myself just putting this on to get the gorgeous glow. Next up is another Merit product. This is the Merit Perfecting Complexion Stick. I have mine in the shade Silk, which I believe is the second lightest shade. I actually have the old version of this. Now the product, it you get more product in it for the same amount. I think you get 1.7 times the amount of product I have in here. I will also tell you this, that I've had this since the beginning of the year, or was it, it was either like February, I was gifted this from Merit in a video that I did earlier this year, and it's still kicking. I really like this. I'm gonna start applying it. Well, something that's really nice about this is that you can just kind of adjust the amount of coverage you want, especially if you're just someone who likes to spot conceal a few areas and then move along with your day. This is something that's really nice for that. You just push it on and like tap it in. But I wear it as foundation because I'm a foundation girly and I love foundation. Now they say it's not quite a concealer and not quite a foundation. And I think that was what they were doing to try to get away with the amount of product you get. It's like only cover what you want, but I do think perhaps maybe more people were wearing it like foundation than just kind of lightly in specific spots. And But I don't know, I can't say that's why they did it, but I appreciate that you get more product in it now because then I feel less scared to use it because this is something that I would definitely buy again because I really like the way it looks. But I'm gonna draw some on my face and we can start blending it out. A couple things. I don't really take it all the way up into my eye because I felt like that my skin is too thin there whenever I blend it out. It looks a little bit creepy. I can blend it from here up into there, but I think putting it directly there is like not the best course of action for me. And I also do think that this product specifically, you need a lot of hydration and a lot of slip with whatever you have underneath it because I've been really enjoying it with this, but I've tried it with other primers and it just like, 
it doesn't work as well with something that doesn't have a lot of slip to it underneath. More so, if you have facial hair, just make sure you're blending it out because sometimes it gets caught in there. But I think it's just because it's a stick formula. Liquid formulas, I don't find this problem. I think it's exclusively just a stick formulation problem, not specifically the Merit stick formulation problem. This is my favorite foundation product to wear whenever I am just, just vibing. If that makes sense like I'm gonna go see a friend but we're just going to get coffee kind of makeup that's what I really like this for like nothing like I wouldn't I mean not that it can't work for evening because you certainly can adjust the amount of coverage in specific areas and especially if you want to just do clean skin for an event then absolutely you can do whatever you want I find that I really like it day to day if I was actually working in an office if I had an office job that I had to go to this would be the kind of foundation that I could see myself using just literally every day because it's just it's pretty easy it's pretty agreeable and your skin still looks like your skin when you're done blending it out i've done a full review of this in my original merit video where like i do wear testing and it passes all those tests and if you don't know of this already i only ever keep four foundations in my collection at any given time and this is one that has stayed in my top four since i got it like i haven't i just I really enjoy this. I'm gonna take some on a concealer brush and just get a little more product on the inner corner of my eye to brighten that up a little bit. Okay, so here's my skin with the Great Skin Serum and also the Perfecting Complexion Stick. I'll zoom you in. But yeah, you can still see your skin underneath it. It's not like a full coverage anything. And it just gives your skin just like, it's not like, I wouldn't call it like super glowy, but I do feel like it gives your skin like that, a healthy juiciness which I guess is a glow, but it's, I don't know that it really promises a glow, but I always feel like that my skin looks so good with this foundation on. Earlier I was talking about finding the family friend. Here's why I love talking to the family friend at Thanksgiving, right? They're just, they're there, they're there, and if you feel like an outcast at Thanksgiving, you can always talk to the family friend, right? Because they're not as invested in the family stuff. They don't know what's going on. They don't really care. And you can just be like, girl, let me tell you the tea about what's going on in my life. I'll tell them about the person I'm dating because one, they're not gonna tell my family because they're the family friend, right? And they're not gonna tell my business. You can trust the family friend, unless you have a really busy body family friend who comes to Thanksgiving, but I find I have one specific person in mind, and I bet you, you know what I'm talking about. I guess this is like the survival guide for people who have like large Thanksgivings. We normally have like 25 people at our Thanksgiving. Here's another thing. You don't have to do any of the food that you don't want to. Someone might have gone through the trouble of make a Thanksgiving turkey. You don't have to eat it if you don't like turkey. I don't really care for turkey. Well, we do fried turkey, which I do. I do enjoy a bit. You don't have to eat whatever you don't want to. If you just want to have the mac and cheese because your aunt makes the best mac and cheese in the whole wide world and you only get to eat it at Thanksgiving, just eat the mac and cheese. Eat the mac and cheese. Don't eat the stuffing. I don't, don't even give a flying fuck if your family is going to give you crap for just eating mac and cheese. Just eat the mac and cheese. Just eat the mac and cheese. And if you want dessert, save room for dessert. Let's normalize not having normal desserts or even foods at Thanksgiving. We all make this food, right? Like, People, let's let's use green bean casserole, for example. Do you really want, do you eat green, do, would you ever eat green bean casserole outside the realm of Thanksgiving? And if you say yes, do you, like, you would, you want to, have you ever made it? Because all that's available all year round. You can do that whenever. You can have green bean casserole whenever you want. But do you ever make it outside the realm of Thanksgiving? I bet you don't. Why? Because it's probably, you probably just don't like it that much. Let's normalize not even doing, yeah, let's not do turkey. Like, why do we all have to do turkey? Do you want to have a turkey? It seems to me that turkey seems to be one of the less popular things at a Thanksgiving dinner. And I was saying not normalizing, normalize not normal desserts. We have cheesecake every Thanksgiving. And it's cheesecake that we literally only make for Thanksgiving. I make it. Now, did I once get very drunk when making the cheesecake and make it wrong? And was I a disappointment to the whole family because of it? Perhaps I was, perhaps that did happen, but that was seven years ago. And then one year did I make the pumpkin pie and did my dog jump on the counter and lick some of the pumpkin pie out before I baked it? And then I still baked it and served it to people? Yes, I did, but that's our secret. You don't need to tell my family about that. Nobody has to know. How would they know? I'm just telling thousands of people on the internet. I am not using one of their flush blush balms in 
today's video. I had one for a while and I really like, it's like, it's a very nice formula. And if you were interested in a blush that's really easy, then I think that you would really like the flesh balm. So like if you're scared of blush, but you want to explore it in a way that feels really, really safe to you, then I would recommend it. But if you are someone who likes a really, really intense blush and you really, really want it to show up and you like something a little bit more matte, then I don't think they're for you. If you wanna see me apply it and talk about it a little bit more, I'll link my original Merit video up here so you could just see that product if it was something that you were interested in hearing my opinion about. It's a really nice blush. It's just, as you know, I like to keep my, my collection a little bit curated. And so it, I, I know I wasn't gonna get the use out of it that it deserved. And I know that I, my friend who I gave it to really, really likes it and she said, I'm very, like, she has expressed thanks. <laughs> I really wasn't, I wasn't really, I was really not trying to be like the person who was like, and she gave thanks, but <laughs> here we are. But she, yeah, she has been really enjoying it and she says that she gets a lot of use out of it. So there's two opinions on the, the blush formula from Merit. And they recently changed the packaging. It's now in an all gold component. It used to be in the, it used to be in a gray component like this and I, I think I like it. It looks better in the, the new component. I make this apple cheesecake and we still have apple pie and pumpkin pie, but there's this apple cheesecake recipe that my mom found. We make that and then we also make this like peanut butter fudge one. Now the peanut butter fudge one, I'm not a really big fan of cheesecake and chocolate together. It's not bad. Like I, uh, oh, there could be like a chocolate product on it, but like the, the cheesecake actually being chocolate and having like, so it's like a little too decadent for me. It's like a little too heavy. It's like a little, not my entire life. I'm not getting my entire life. That like, that's not feeling good to me, but we also make that one too. We meaning me, I make that. What's really nice about different types of desserts is I have found that I'm not taking leftovers home with me as far as like something that I made. I always want whatever I take to a gathering like this to be completely eaten at the gathering. Like that's what I want because I don't want to have to take it home because then I have to eat all the cheesecake, which is not a real problem. But it, it you know, do I sometimes eat so much? <laughs> and, and have I eaten so much cheesecake that I've made myself sick as an adult? Yes, I have. <laughs> I don't want to take the cheesecake home because I don't want to be sick <laughs> because I like it. Listen, every year for Easter, my mom buys me a pound of chocolate. I used to eat the chocolate all in one day. Then I used to eat it all in two days. I'm getting closer to taking a whole week for me to finish the chocolate, which I think is a win. I just powdered my face. I don't think that the Merit Perfecting Complexion Stick needs powder, especially if you have dry skin. I don't think it does. But just because I'm a little oily, I like to powder it just to, to provide some longevity to it. But it does seem to like have, it looks really nice without powder and it doesn't look like too oily, but I know with my skin, I'm gonna throw on a little bit of mascara. Here's another survival tip. This year, I'm taking a friend with me to Thanksgiving. This friend has a baby. And you know what my family really loves? A baby. They dote on babies. Therefore, all, no one will care about me being there. I bring my friend, they bring their baby. The baby's the star of the show. No questions to me about my life and my personal life. Not that I'm not willing to share my personal life with my family, but do you ever feel like, listen, I can't be the only one, but it's just like you're talking to your family and your life is like so vastly different from them. My life happens to be vastly different from them because I am queer and like living a queer lifestyle and like that's how I like to live. And it's not that I think my family doesn't support me living that queer lifestyle, but there's a little bit of like a, a gap in knowledge and a little bit of a gap in understanding. So I feel like I have to like explain a lot of things and some thing I you know, I find darkness very funny and I just think that like so I'll say something like really dark and like laugh, you know, and then they'll just like they're like, what do you mean? So the ba so the baby will distract from everyone. Also, if one of your family members has kids, you can just like hang out with the kids. Now I realize I'm 32 and maybe I shouldn't be hanging out with the kids, but sometimes I'd be like into hang out with the kids because what are they get? What's going on in their lives? They ha they have a spelling test at school tomorrow. Couldn't be me. But what are you trying to spell? Let me know. I'll help. Like <laughs> I'll help, but I might tell you how to spell it wrong because I'm in it for the laughs. Okay. This is why I won't have a child. My if I had a child, it would be a complete joke. Like I'd be like. I'd be like, let's have fun with this. And I don't think that you should do that with someone's life, which is why I don't 
have kids, nor really want to be around kids. <laughs> sometimes they're very silly and sometimes they're very fun. But then one time, one time I was playing with my cousin's child. He was like probably like 10 at the time or like, I don't know, <laughs> anyone between the ages of four and like 21 might as well be the same to me. So sorry, but that is how I feel about kids. And, I'm, and not that if you are 21 that you are a kid, but like, I'm not trying to devalue your life, but there's still a lot of life to live after 21. So just know that. And I'm sorry for whatever happens to you for the ages of 21 to 30. But let me tell you, 30s have been great. I like the 30s. So you've got to look forward to as well, even if you're miserable. So I don't know if that was a really good pep talk. <laughs> Playing with the child. We were, we had figurines. I think I'm the, I think I was a Ninja Turtle. Couldn't tell you which one. One of the artists from one of the periods of art that existed in history. You didn't think I knew, but I know. I know some things. Anyway, the kid had, oh, hold on. Let me get, let me get, let's, hold on. This is my, this was my, this is Michelangelo. And this is Leonardo. He had, he was, he was being Leonardo. Leonardo was facing this way. Mine was facing Leonardo. And he went, pow, pow. And I was like, what just happened? Did you shoot me with your butt lasers? The way that I triggered something in this child by saying butt lasers, he thought that was the funniest thing in the world. Did I have a glass of wine in my other hand? You know, Leonardo, Michelangelo, I forget who this was. Michelangelo in this hand and then a glass of wine in my other hand? Yes, I did. Why? Because I'm a respected adult and I can do whatever I want. We said butt lasers and then we were laughing and we were laughing and he just kept saying butt lasers, butt lasers. And I was like, kid, you gotta shh, butt lasers is funny, but I'm gonna get in trouble. His mom yelled at me. His mom yelled at me because I was encouraging butt lasers. Butt lasers wasn't even my idea at the begin with. It was his idea. He was shooting me out of the ass of Leonardo. It's really hard to win kids games because the kid always wins. And I hate that and we shouldn't encourage that behavior, okay? Let your children lose. <laughs> it's time to go back into the bag, the bag of fun things. So I actually have three lip products from Merit. Let me tell you about the lipstick, the signature lip. These are them. Now in camera, this might look like Maybelline to you, but in your hands, it's actually really nice packaging. It's really aesthetic. It reminds me of like 70s, everything was brown. And like the plastic, the acrylic, I assume it's a, some kind of plastic, but but the actual component is like nice and weighted and feels heavy. This is perhaps one of my favorite shades of lipstick I own. It's the shade 1990. And if you're not new here, you know that I put this on all the time. Here's my problem in the world. I would love to be someone who wears a bold lip, but I will do like bold eyes, bold cheek. And then I get to the lip and I'm like, mm, I don't know what to do. So I just throw on a brown lip. I like panic. I was gonna throw on a brown lip. 1990 is a brown lip and it is the brown lip. Now, uh, it's a little bit warmer. I often like to use like a cool toned brown because I think there's like interesting, it's interesting to do that, but this is so easy and it's so comfortable and it's so reliable and it wears off so beautifully. So like if you wore it to Thanksgiving and it like wore off your lips a little bit, it wouldn't look really funky. Now the shade in the component, the shade in here looks a little bit threatening, but once it's on the lips, it's not as deep. There's 1990. Now you can layer it a little bit more to get a little bit more depth if you wanted to, but this is typically where I stop and it's like chef's kiss, the perfect brown lip for me. Ooh, I'm not a lipstick girly. I really am not. But even in my original video where I talked about Merit, I remember putting this on for the first time and be like, is this what lipstick can be? And Merit was like, yeah, absolutely. This is what lipstick can be. So I'm very into the signature lips. I think that they're really comfortable. It's not like the most like long wearing. It's also like not the most impactful. They do have other shades that are like reds and pinks. That's not my vibe. Like I, I like a red lip, but I have other red lips. So I kind of steered clear whenever I was selecting for Merit, but I will always wear a brown lip. I could have a brown lip from every brand and I would be okay with that. Like it'd be great. I think these are really comfortable. I like the way they look on my lips. And, and that's the thing. I think a lot of the times whenever it comes to me not really enjoying lip products and not describing myself as a lipstick girly is that like 
it's just like formula feeling on my lips and I just feel like this is like light as air it's impactful enough it's not like a crazy impactful lip product but it's really really beautiful now I also have the shade slip so the thing is 1990 doesn't do what I'm about to show you but slip there's something about these the lighter shades that they do not really hold up they like to bend they tap the side now it's it's a little messy and I just want to be honest with you about that. Like, that's what happened to Slip. It doesn't really deter me from wearing it. It hasn't happened to 1990. And from seeing other reviewers, like, I saw State of Kate have this issue with one of the lighter shades. But it does seem that the deeper shades, so here's 1990, it's, it doesn't have, it doesn't have that issue. I'm not sure which shades move around in the bullet and which ones don't but I think the general rule of thumb I've heard from other people is that the deeper colors in the Merit Signature Lip are less likely to do what Slip does. Buyer beware. I also have another lip product from Merit that I'm going to show you. This is also new to me so I can't really talk about it too in depth but I can tell you that I've been enjoying it so far. I also have the Merit Shades Slick Tinted Lip Oil. I got the shade Falcon. Let me just apply it and then I'll tell you a little bit more about it. So I've never tried a lip oil before. I don't think I have. Oh no, I I have tried another lip oil before but I, I ha it was it was clear and it like was it was fine and I used it all up. I kind of used it as like a lip balm. I've never had a pigmented lip oil but let me throw it on and I'll just talk about it real quick. Here it is on my lips. The only thing I would say is that if you put too much on, the pigment doesn't apply evenly. But I think that would be the case with any lip oil. But what I will tell you is it's very comfortable and it feels very nourishing on my lips. Like, I don't know that this will stay in my makeup drawer. I might just keep it next to my work desk and just like keep applying it. It just feels really, 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 really nice on the lips. I have seen other people do like a combo where they will put the signature lip on and then top it with the lip oil to give it a little bit more of a shine. But I probably will always wear them separately. But this brown color, it's giving. It's giving. It's giving me. It's giving me. And here's the other thing is, if I bought one in a lighter like something more akin to my lip color. I probably wouldn't notice that the pigment feels a little uneven if you over apply it. I've been kind of into like sloppy, messy looks recently as far as like creasy eyeshadow and like kind of like imperfect things going on with my makeup recently that I kind of like that. That's kind of like the vibe. But just beware, if you're not, if you don't have like a deeper complexion and this might not be the closest thing to your natural lip color, perhaps you might not like that. But let me just zoom in so you can kind of see. It's just the most of the pigment ends up being on the perimeter of the lip. This is my full, my full face. I don't have enough Merit products to do a full face. But here's my, my Merit Thanksgiving look. Ooh. That wraps up today's video. I hope I gave you, if you are American and going to Thanksgiving, I hope I gave you some tools and skills to survive Thanksgiving. I wanna thank Merit for partnering with me and also sending along the Great Skin Serum and the Shade Slick in Falcon. And they did previously send me both 1990 and the Perfecting Complexion Stick. I bought Slip on my own and I also bought the Merit Blush that I used to have. Just as a reminder, the sale goes from now until Cyber Monday, 20% off the whole site. There'll be different doorbuster deals every day on some of the bundles if you are interested. But again, no pressure to buy from Merit if you weren't interested, if nothing was on your wish list, if you're on a no buy, if you're on a low buy, if you've already went out of your budget for the month. We all are well aware that sale culture is what sale culture is. And I know that you are smart enough to know when and when not to buy something for yourself. My affiliate link for the Merit sale is at the top of my description box. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new here and you liked today's video, today's video is like a little bit different from my normal content. So if you wanna stick around to see what that's like, I would love to have you stick around. I'm also on patreon.com if you would like to support me there. No pressure to. I'm just so happy that you're here and I would appreciate a like on this video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you very soon in my next video and remember to follow your hoat and you will find me. Thank you so much and I will see you in a video very soon. Bye-bye.